G'day guys, it's Skills Productions here. Today we're going to show you how to use the keyboard version for Rugby League Live 3. In case you may not know, uh, you're going to need a couple of things of software. So, first of all, you want to get your hands on the VJoy software, which will be in the link below. First, that's the very first software you need to download and install. So, once you've downloaded it, Extract it it's in a RAW folder, and then you install the game. You install this. You double click on the VJoy setup execu execu executable file. Then you run that. It'll run you through a process where you have to just click next, next, accept the lo the license agreement. Blah blah blah. Once you've installed it. Then you have to get the X360CE, which will be in the second link below, right after the first one. So download that, and you may need Winwar for all of the files that come, so what you've downloaded. Okay, so once you've downloaded this this one and extracted, okay, so what you want to go to now is uh, go to start and then computer then your hard drive your local hard drive location so mine is Windows 7 then your program files Steam look for Steam and then Steam Steam apps then common and you should see your Rugby League 3 game here, so I can see mine. Alright, so now with the X360 software, it's built off another game, but you have to copy that. You have to copy that now, and then put that into your main folder of the Rugby League 3. Once you put it in, copied and pasted it in, then you need to uh, open up the VJoy the VJoy application itself now. So once you've done that, you, or you can find it in the little small icon list by clicking the little small arrow and then right clicking on VJoy, be a little picture of a joystick. Okay, so now you want to tick enabled, open any. So this is where you need to download the third file, is the Rugby League Live 3 key layout. So you need to download that now. Uh, one, it's only a small, it's only like 80 kilobyte, not even 2 kilobyte file. So you open that. Okay, so now you're going to get a list full of uh, commands and all that type of stuff. It's all uh, keyboard mapped from a controller to a keyboard input. So once you've done that, click OK. Okay, so with this folder left open, you need to go into X input test. Double click that. Okay, so it appears to be connected. Alright, so next thing you want to do is you want to run your game now. So once it's said it's connected, if you've got any issues saying it's not connected or there may be some kind of issue, just re reassure that you've followed the steps correctly. And if not, please contact me on YouTube and send me a message and I'll try and help you figure the issue. Okay, so once so leave that minimized. Okay, so I've only got one open. Alright, so now I think we're ready to begin. Alright, so let me get this started. I'll quickly show I'll turn my game capture on. Alright, so in game now I'm using the keyboard layout now, so I'm using X to press the A command for the controller. So once I'm in, I've also set up 
passing, uh, passing the ball around, um, all the common general stuff. But if you if you got your own way of making your commands for keyboard input, feel free and welcome. You can change them around, and if you got a better one than mine, you please send me a message. I'd love to um try it out and just put yours up if you would like. So okay, so now we're just using X to place the ball on the keyboard, and now I'm just using my general arrow keys just to move them around. All right, so let's take this kick. Slow mo. Whoa, it works beautifully. Beautiful. I don't. I personally don't know why began would or the comp the the gaming developer would the the gaming developer would not put this into their game. I, it's it's just completely stupid that they they didn't recognize the keyboard in the game, and I think it would have worked well because by appearing how I'm playing it, it's just it just works pretty well. They made up a really ex length, like a poor excuse of why they didn't do it. So I was really disappointed, and I I, I did see on the forums as well that they didn't. There's a lot of people really disappointed, and and just like they are, they should have listened, but they just made up an excuse. But okay, so I want to thank you for watching this video today, guys. Hope you guys have got it to work and see you all next time bye bye